Hello and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is as simple as squinting. Some artists have an innate ability to kind of simplify a subject um, more easily than others. The others being like me. I don't. I tend to obsess over every little teeny detail and kind of lose the, the bigger picture sometimes. And I noticed this especially whenever I was working with Joe, because Joe did have that ability. He could um, boil a subject, a complicated subject, down to its essence pretty easily and isolate values, find compositional strong points, establish a focal point, all those kinds of things really easily. He just had an innate skill for that. Whereas I'm like, oh, what about that tree branch? It goes into the trunk this way, blah, blah, blah. What, nobody cares. Nobody knows about that. It doesn't matter really. Um, we're not painting the tree in, in essence. We're painting the landscape itself. So, you know, but I would just deep dive and get lost in those like little details. And he's like on his third one and I'm, you know, Ugh. You know, so one thing I, I learned, I was actually watching a series on BBC uh, about, it was a competition show about the next great, you know, artist, portrait painter or whatever. Well, I noticed that these portrait painters were using what they called blurry glasses. But, um, and what they were doing was they were taking their glasses and looking at their subject and their glasses automatically made the subject in front of them blurry. Well, if you've ever put on a pair of cheap readers and then looked in the distance, it does the exact same thing. So for a dollar pair of readers from you know the drugstore, you can easily do this, right? And get you a pair of blurry glasses, right? Now, I'm not gonna say you should be walking around with your blurry glasses on the end of your nose. This is a very, very short term thing where when you're looking at your subject and you're doing your initial sketches, you can actually go like this. And like what happens is it gets blurry enough to where you're isolating the big forms. What is the subject here? Where is the focal point going to be? It, it, it reduces all the details down so you can't, you can't obsess about them. Uh, you absolutely have to focus on what's going on. Now granted, we do have products for reducing um, the colors and you get basic values and stuff like that. That doesn't do this. But in making kind of things blurry, you, you, you've weeded out a lot of the excess visual noise that way. Um, and so this can allow you to kind of uh, override the, the maniacal wiring in your brain that causes you to just fixate on little, little unnecessary details. So this kind of quick solution um, is a great way to kind of retrain your brain to take in the big picture and reduce. And so get yourself a little um, pair of um, cheapos and uh, try this out because it really, really works well. It's a handy solution for folks like me that tend to just kind of overdo and check it out because we know that you'll enjoy. Thanks for joining us for another installment of Two Minute Art Tips right here at Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. We hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something. If so, give us a like, comment with your thoughts and share with a friend. Subscribe below and don't miss a single Two Minute Art Tips and help us reach 150,000 subscribers. See you next time.